Damien here again with Best Care to continue my uh, demonstration and training on the use of the Gulman Leap Co compatible sling. And I've shown some training already how to lift a person from the chair, how to lift a person from the bed. But now I'm going to show how we transfer a patient from the floor. Sometimes a patient can slide out of the chair, slide out of the bed, they end up on the ground. It's a difficult transfer. Let's show you how it's done. So our patient's on the floor. First thing we want to do is try and make the patient comfortable. So let's grab the pillow, kind of put it under the patient's head so they can be supported and be comfortable enough for us to take the time to apply the sling. So, how do we apply the sling? Well, we're going to fold the sling in half with the instructions on the inside, and we're going to do a very similar transfer that we did with the person in the bed. We're going to lift up the leg, roll the person over, take the sling, and apply the sling to the patient, fold it in half, lining up with the bottom of the sling to the tailbone area, with the top of the sling to the head, and flip the extra material over the person, and tuck the remaining material underneath the person. The next step is we're going to roll the patient back, then we're going to step around to the other side, put this down now, and we can take a little grab here, the patient can roll over just a little bit, and now, the sling is in place. The last step is to take the sling, the leg straps, bring them underneath the legs, and cross them. Now we have the sling applied to the patient while they're on the floor. Let's connect the sling to the lift. I'm going to use the two point spread apart like before, bring it up to the patient in exactly this fashion. So you can see that we can go from the head area and we can get the spread of arm right to about the middle of the person's body, which is where we want it. From the floor, we better lock the casters on the lift. We don't want the lift to move. Then hit the down button. We're going to bring the spread of arm low enough so we can connect the sling loops easily to the spread of arm. So we'll bring it down about as low as we can get. Now, we're going to connect the sling to the spreader bar. So you can see that we can connect the shoulder area with the longest loops and the leg area with the longest loops. So we can do that quite easily. We've got everything hooked up. So at this point, we're going to hit the up button. While we're raising up the patient, we just want to pay attention to them down here, make sure that they're comfortable. And you see that the natural movement of the sling, even on the furthest loops, is to start raising up the person's shoulders first, and then start lifting up the legs. So it keeps them in a sit seated position while you're raising them up off the ground. So you can see from here, we can transfer the patient to the wheelchair or to the bed, and we'd have our floor transfer accomplished. Thank you.